from the world's noisiest house. We have six people and two dogs living here. Why well, I thought that it would be super easy to just film a little cooking video for you. No, the kitchen is like the noisiest room in the house as well. We had the washing machine going off a minute ago. I just had to open the dishwasher so it didn't keep making so much noise. Now the fridge is making some kind of buzzing noise. So today's video is sponsored by Mushrooms. Literally the Mushroom Bureau. It's my favorite thing ever. Like, I've been sponsored by the Mushroom Bureau. If you knew me, you would understand why that was funny because I love mushrooms so much. My husband's not so much of a fan. He would tell you he doesn't eat mushrooms. He does eat mushrooms, he eats them all the time because I hide them in his food. We're not great at getting in a lot of vegetables in our house, at least within my immediate family. And mushrooms is a really easy way of hiding vegetables in food. I mean, I'm not the best either. I like green beans, I like broccoli. I don't like a lot of vegetables. And so wherever I can get them in, I do. And mushrooms is definitely up there for you. It's one of your five a day, which I keep telling myself because it makes me feel a little bit better. Um, but it is definitely something that you can pad out other meals with without it feeling vegetable heavy. The idea is that you're gonna mix more mushrooms in with your meat dishes. I'm gonna leave a couple of recipes for you below. I am going to be making one of these for you in this video. Spoiler alert, sure you didn't guess that from the title. Not only will it be more affordable, obviously, because meat can be quite expensive, but the meal will also be lower in calories, cholesterol, fat, salt, it's just good all around. It's actually kind of seasonally appropriate as well because my mom makes something she calls mushroom volvons. Would you guys be interested in more cooking videos over the Christmas period? Kind of some baking or some like Christmassy kind of recipes that we use. My mom's recipe, it's basically like a, a steak Diane sauce. It's amazing in a mushroom volvon case. It's like my favorite Christmas thing. I don't think it is specifically Christmas, but to me, mushrooms are festive for that reason. But today I'm gonna be making a shepherd's pie. I actually didn't know the difference between a shepherd's pie and a cottage pie. And now I do. And if you watch this video, I think you'll see the differences yourself too. Maybe you already knew. I'm not such a chef, I'm more of a baker, which you will see when you see me try and peel potatoes. When I think about the time when I was young, all I see is snow, bells and mistletoes, all December.
in winter time is always the kind of thing that I crave, which is why I chose that recipe. Uh, so Lee and I had that for dinner last night. He didn't know there were mushrooms in it. I told him at the end, um, but oftentimes I'll make something and I think, if I tell him now, it's gonna put him off eating the food because he's convinced that he doesn't like certain things. By the end of that, I told him there was 50-50 mushrooms and mints in that recipe. He had no idea. So if you've got some picky eaters in your family, if you do it the way that I showed you in this video, dice, 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 and make it like look like more of the mints, then they might not know. And it is a really good way of sneaking in these vegetables, especially for kids and picky adults. I am a picky adult. I just happen to like mushrooms. Um, it's just a really easy way of doing that because I've tried to, I mean, especially, you know, I do the grating thing as well. That's another trick. Um, but something that looks like it could be meat, even easier to hide. Anyway, I'm going to go and eat the rest of my shepherd's pie while watching a Christmas movie. Don't forget to let me know if you want to see more cooking videos from me. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see. More baking, more cooking, nothing at all. Or even better, just tell me what your favourite kind of Christmassy recipes are. Um, or if there's anything that you replace mushrooms with meat, any kind of recipes that you do a similar thing with, because now I know that I can sneak this stuff by <laughs> a little bit easier, I can eat mushrooms more often. Um, so yeah, let me know, subscribe, I will see you guys next time. Bye.